What I want to show you now is how to do a clipping mask. This shows you a clipping mask on the head of a sunflower. So I want to show you how we did that. So let's make a new page. Eight and a half by 11, say create. Then place your image on the page. Okay, so let's make a new page. Go to File, New, or Command N, 8 and a half by 11. Then go to Place. Go to Desktop is where I put it. I'm going to place the sunflower here on the page. Okay, kind of centered up here. All right, so what you want to do, you can leave a fill if you want. I don't tend to. Um, and then I'm going to make this really bright, so I'm going to make it a red. And then take your pen tool. What you want to do is start here and work your way around the flower. If you don't get them all exact right away, don't worry. You can go back and make adjustments. This is going to take a little while to go around. But don't forget to pull, click and pull, so you get the handles to come out. It doesn't have to be precise. I, this is just a, a demonstration for you to practice the pen tool and to learn how to use a clipping mask. You can see I'm off here, but I'm not going to worry about it. I can go back and adjust that. Let me pull this up and over so you can see it a little bit easier. Oops, too far. Okay, now I'm going to take my direct select tool and I can go back and I can adjust some of these. Again, it doesn't have to be precise, but it does give you practice with the pen tool. I guess the rest isn't off too much. Okay, so let's go full screen. All right, so now you have this item, okay? So I want to black out that section. It doesn't matter what color or fill is on the object you just created. So it doesn't matter how you select it. You can take your direct select tool, select the background, hold down your shift key and select the image you just made. Or you can say command A to select them all. Or you can take your direct select tool, click off to the side, drag it over part of both of those and you'll select them both. Then what you want to do is go under object, down to clipping mask and make. And voila. Now if I take my direct select tool, and click on the photo, you can still see it's separate. So I can move it around for effect if you want. You can still move around these anchor points even after you've done a clipping mask. And then if you clip something you decide you don't want it on anymore, you can literally with your direct select tool, select the mask and hit delete, delete to remove it. Um, or you can go up under, select them both, and go up under object, down to clipping mask, and hit release. 
So there you go. That's how you do it.